Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to the TBL Week 4 Team Builder Analysis video thing. So, we are playing against the Atlanta Raichus this week. This team has gone undefeated so far and you can obviously see why. It is such a crazy team. Um, so much power there. Um, also got the 11 Ninetales there for Aurora Veil. Um, the Gligar I think might be coming this week. So, yeah, let's go through each of them. So, we got Heatram, Reuniclus, Mega Mawile, Gligar. Alone Nine Tails, Greninja Protein. Um, is it Protein or Protein? I don't. I can't. I can't speak. Uh, Mimic Hugh, Malamar, Himonli, Serena, and Roton Fan. So <sighs> I don't know where to begin with this. I don't know where to begin. Um, Heat Ran obviously is a really, really good mon. Um, OU four times a week to ground, uh, week to fighting, and yeah, like just generally. It can be scarfed, it can be defensive, it can be specs, I think it can even be banded if he wants to. I don't know, like, <laughs> obviously Heat Ram, is, Heat Ram is such a variable mon, it's a really good mon to have, um, which is just so scary. Uniclus has been picking up so many, so many kills this season already. Um, I think it might actually be top of the kills currently, um, and it is such a crazy mon. Carmine sweeps um, can quite easily happen. Um, Mega Mawile, huge power is all I really need to say. Uh, such, it doubles its attack stat and just, yeah, it's going to tear things up. Um, Sucker Punch, also as well for the priority, it just, it just kills. Uh, Gligar, can Toxic, can be Eviolite or Eviolite, whichever one you say. Um, yeah, so that can just destroy everything. Uh, no, other than that, I can't talk. Literally, Alone My Tales, Aurora Veil, as I've said, can also be a sweeper, um, can also be defensive. Uh, it's just, again, another annoying mon uh, that I really actually wanted in my team. Uh, Greninja Protein is another annoying mon because you just can't really take it out. Um, you can't really guess what it's going to use, uh, whether you're going to use a move to try and... I can't think what the word was. Try and weaken yourself, I suppose. No, like try and reduce damage to yourself, or whether you're going to do it for super effective. Like it just gets such a variable move set as well. I think it gets like gunk shot, gunk shot, gunk shot, spice, spice. Oh my god, spikes! Jeez, I cannot talk. Um, and then obviously wall type attacks, ice beam, um, and obviously with protein as well, it becomes stab, so it immediately gets a little bit stronger, which is just terrifying. Mimikyu has disguise, swords dance. A priority and Shadow Sneak, Play Rough, Shadow Claw, uh, just a, a lot of quite, quite scary things there. Malamar of Contrary is there, I think that could potentially be coming instead of the Gligar, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, Contrary Superpower, it can just like start setting up and sweeping. Hitmonlee is also there. Um, not really as scared of Hitmonlee, but my team can't really do too much to it this week, so... Yeah, like I'm hoping the Hitmonlee doesn't really come. Serena, I don't really know what it can do. Uh, I think there's a few things, it's quite, I think it's either, I, I haven't actually looked it up, to be honest. Um, I haven't actually looked it up. And um, Rotom Fan there, like, not the best, I don't think, but obviously the rest of the team is just absolute carnage. So, yeah, like, we're, we're going to struggle this week, if not get swept completely. Uh, the top t the top six the thing, ones that I think are coming, I think the Alone Mine Tales is guaranteed, uh, because of the Alone Mine Tales already being that fairy. I don't think that Mimikyu is going to be coming. Uh, Heat Ram, I think, is definitely coming. Reuniclus is definitely coming. Marwell is definitely coming. Um, Greninja, I think, is definitely coming. Gligar is the one that I'm unsure of. It could be Gligar, Malamar, or Serena, or even Mimikyu. It could be like any of them. I think Gligar is the one interchangeable one. But I think the rest of them are definitely coming. Um, yeah, very, very scared. Very, very scared. Um, I had a look at like my team matchups, and it's quite a difficult one. Uh, Sizzle does really well this week. Sizzle does, uh, like, um, it can sort of play one-on-one -on -one with the Malwile as long as it's not got Fire Fang. Uh, it can take out the Reuniclus. It can take out the Alone Mine Tails. It can probably play around with the Greninja. Uh, it can play with the Mimikyu. Uh, the Hitmonlee, it can probably do a few things with. Uh, Malamar, it can stick around with. Well, Malamar, it just takes out of Bug Bite. Uh, Serena, again, can take out of a Bug Bite. Roton Fan, I don't know if we can do anything to it, but I don't think it can do anything huge to us. Probably Thunderbolts, but yeah. It's just, there's so much. Uh, Gligar, I'm not sure that we can actually do much with it this week on how I'm running it. 
Um, but we might be able to, like, we can set up Swords Dance and stuff. But let's go into actually looking at our team. Um, also, I just realised, like, it's very kind of dark and, like, <laughs> more, like, grey, I suppose, at the minute uh, in my room. And I don't like my light over there just isn't working properly, I don't think. It's not, like, as light as it normally is, so I don't know what's going on there. I had it fixed literally less than a month ago. As you know, I think it was just over a month ago I had it fixed, and it's going again. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I think I just drew the bad room in the uni. Yeah, so like, let's get back into the point. Also, I know you're probably seeing this. I'm holding a pair of scissors. I don't know why. Uh, it's probably because I need to pack them um, because I'm going home tomorrow. So yeah, and I'm recording this two hours before our match. So wish me luck. Um, so on our team, I better go on to the showdown so I can actually look at this properly. So on our team, we have Stoutland, which is a free agent to pick up that we picked up this week. Um, really, really important for this week, I think. Um, so we have Life Orb on this thing. We have Intimidate for that Malwile. I really just want to get his attack down. Psychic Fangs to get rid of that Aurora Veil just in case it gets set up. Uh, Fire Fang for the Malwile. Return for general damage. And the Iron Head does take out the Mimikyu in one. Also, that can deal with the Alone and Nine Tails. Um, and then we've got 16, no, 20 in speed, sorry. 20 in speed, I changed to 20. Um, so we can outspeed the Malwile, even if it's max attack, max speed, sorry. And we have 236 in HP, 252 in attack with an adamant nature, so more attack. Um, excuse me. <gasps> oh my god, I can't. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. So this thing kind of um, covers quite a bit. Uh, can kind of cover the Reuniclus with Return, Iron Head. Um, can, can it, it can cover the Serena with Fire Fang. Uh, I'm looking over here because that's where I've got my uh, second screen. Um, can't really cover Gligar too well. Um, unless I want to try to go for like Flinch Hacks. Uh, Rotom Fang can't cover Malamar. It can not really cover hugely, but I think it can do something. Uh, and it's here for the Mega Malwell mostly. Like that's. It's here for the Mega Malwile and the Alone Nine Tails. That that's the two that it's here for. I've just got like my nose is just itchy. So that is the main reason that I'm I've picked up Stoutland, to be completely honest. Um also just Stoutland is quite versatile in itself. Uh it can run offensively, it can be run defensively. I did consider running it fully defensively, but then Firefang didn't have a chance to two hit kill. Well no, Firefang didn't two hit kill. Um and Firefang does two hit two hit kill on this one. So that was my thought. Um and then Psychic Fangs gets rid of the Aurora Veil, as I said, which I I'm pretty sure is going to be coming. Um, and I'll explain that in just a second when we go on to Sizzle. So, next up we have Donphan, who we have Stealth Rocks again. Um, I'm just going with the Stealth Rocks every week. I will take any chip damage that I can take, I can get at this point. Um, I think that's going to be important this week, especially if there's going to be some Sashmons. I don't know if there will be, but there could be. Uh, then Earthquake is going to do damage. We can take out the Mega Mawile with Earthquake. Um, yeah, so, like, we only take about 60% without a Swords Dance from Mawile, uh, so we can live a hit and Earthquake, which does guarantee to take it out. Um, I didn't do the calcs if it was defensive, but I really don't think it will be defensive. Uh, knock off to get rid of items, because I think Reuniclus is probably going to have leftovers, um, there could be a Scarf Mon here, uh, I've got Earthquake for Heat Round as well. Uh, Greninja, I'm not sure what item that's going to have. Maybe a Life Orb, so I could do with getting rid of some of that damage. Uh, Mimikyu, that hits that, kind of. Um, neutrally, anyways. Uh, Gligar, get rid of the Eviolite. And Malamar, I don't know what would be on that either. So, Knock Off is kind of handy this week. You can get rid of a couple of annoying items. And Ice Shard, again, for my priority, just because... I did consider putting Play Rough on this thing, but then I was like, no, Ice Shard probably works a little bit nicer, um, just in case I need to get that little bit of chip damage, uh, and I don't, ha I don't have a chance to take a hit, like that's, that was my pure thought, and then we got max HP, max attack on this thing, we're not running much speed this week, because I have, I have a slight feeling that Reuniclus is going to bring Trick Room, I have a feeling that Reuniclus is going to be a Trick Room variant, um, and I might be able to take advantage of that, he has got quite a fast team though, so I could be could be thinking, um, yeah, actually I don't know Playmaker's gender, I do apologise if you're watching this and you are a female, um, I've just assumed, so I'm terrible, 
Uh, but yeah, like <laughs> we have uh, the Stomp Fan, as I've just gone through. Leftovers there, just to get some health back, because we can do with it. Scizor. Scizor is hugely important this week. So we have a max attack, 248 HP, and 8 in defense. Uh, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Plug Bite, and Brick Break. Assuming that it is a special sweet, no, yeah, a special sweet variant, we can take out the Alone Nine Tails with Bullet Punch straight away uh, before it has a chance to set up a Roar Veil, which I'm hoping will happen if it's any form of defensive. So even if it's specially defensive, uh, the HP boost is enough to make it live. So do have to be cautious there. Um, got Bullet Punch here, um, and then I would probably do a second Bullet Punch to take it out because that would guarantee it. Uh, and then Brick Break, we have to get rid of the Aurora Veil. Uh, Bug Bite is there for the Reuniclus, also the Greninja Protein, it can do some stuff too. Don't want to leave this thing in against Heat Round at all. Uh, Mimikyu, we've got Bullet Punch there that can probably do a fair amount of damage. T Serena, I don't know if it's T Serena or just Serena. I've never really bothered to <laughs> look it up. Uh, we have Bug Bite 4, Alone Nine Tails as I've already outlined. Gligar. As long as we kind of knock off its item, I think we can sort of deal with it with Little Punch. Um, Hitmonlee, we can kind of kind of deal with probably Bullet Punches. Right on Fan, again, probably Bullet Punch. Malamar, Bug Bite, we almost guarantee we take that out. And the Mega Man Wild, if we like get a Swords Dance or two up, we can Bullet Punch it. And I, I think with two Swords Dancers, it has a chance to take out the Mawile, I think. With free, it's guaranteed, but I don't think I'm going to get free up. So, yeah, like, potentially, if I can get a Sword Stance or two up with Bullet Punch, as long as the Aurora Veil isn't there, I think we can sweep with Sizzle, uh, so that's a potential win condition uh, there. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts with Sizzle. Komato, I was really, really finding it difficult to decide what to bring with Komato or Coco, or even Nihilego, but I thought, you know what, Komato kind of works better this week. Um, I had to actually like, do all my calcs and be like, okay, which one actually works better against what? Um, and Coma O actually worked a little bit better than Coco, and I don't think Nihilego worked very well at all this week. Uh, so we have Fiery MZ on this week, and that is for the Malwile. I've done huge amounts of prep for the Malwile, uh, just because I know it is going to be such an annoying Pokemon. Such an annoying Pokemon. Uh, and Fiery MZ guarantees the kill, assuming that there's not a lot of HP investment, um, which hopefully there isn't. Then we've got Rock Polish, Clang Scales, Flame Throw, and Focus Pass. Rock Polish is obviously set up our speed a little bit more. Clang Scales is our stab fight fighting, no, stab dragon type attack, which can just do general damage to a lot of things, as long as the Mimikyu or Alone Nine Tails or both of them are out of the way. Uh, we've got Flame Thrower, we can hit the Alone Nine Tails with that, we can hit the Mega Malwire with that, we can hit the Serena with that. Um, yeah, so Flame Thrower just generally does quite a bit, and obviously is there for the Fire MZ as well. Focus Blast hits Heat Ran, it hits Greninja, um, it hits, what else does it hit? It hits, like, um, Hitmonlee as well, potentially. Uh, Mega Malwile, it does some damage too, but I will prefer Flamethrower. And yeah, this just, like, this set generally will do quite a bit, uh, in general. So I think that it should be fine. Uh, and then we have Max Special Attack with Modest Nature, 4 EVs and Special Defense, and Max Speed. Um, I should say, I should say I didn't really have much time to prep this team. Um, I'll probably talk about this more in the actual, like, episode of the battle. Um, but yeah, like, I didn't have much time to prep this team, so the EVs aren't the most perfect, um, that I would have had chance to. I can't talk, and I'm, I'm terrible. Just stop. <laughs> um, and next up we have Blastoise, who I'm running as defensive this week with Rocky Helmet. I think that the Mega Mawile... Uh, potentially Sucker Punches, I think you can have Thunder Fang, but um, potentially, yeah. Uh, we've got Scald, Rapid Spin, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. I don't know if anything can learn. Um, Stealth Rock, actually, I'll think about it, but I think Greninja can learn Spikes, and that could possibly happen. Um, is there anything else that can set up? Serena, maybe it can do Bleach Seed, I don't know. I haven't, as I said, I haven't looked it up. Uh, yeah, so I think Rapid Spin is still potentially usable. Uh, I think Heat Rank and then Stealth Rocks as well. Same with Gligar. So, yeah, Stealth Rocks is still a possibility. Scold, we can do a lot of damage to things like Heat Ran. Uh, the Mimikyu, if we can get the burn off. A little Nine Tails, we can't really do much to. <laughs> um, Gligar, we can do damage to that. Hitmonlee, if we get the burn off. 
um, Malamar if we get the burn off also, and Mega Malwell if we also get a burn off, which would actually be huge if I managed to get the burn on that. Uh, then we've got Rapid Spin, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse. Um, so Rapid Spin, obviously there for the hazards. Ice Beam, I bought for a very specific, I bought it for Serena, and I bought it for something else, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, I bought it for the Greninja Protein, if it starts setting up spikes, um, because then it can do some more damage to it. Uh, but also we have Skull there, so I think I was... No, no, I didn't bring it for the, the Greninja, I bought it for the Rotom Fan. Um, I bought the Ice Beam Progon 2 for the Greninja. Um, Rotom Fan I bought it for because I thought if that comes, I haven't really got much coverage on it. Uh, so I thought, chuck a nice type attack in there and that'll be fine. And then Dark Pulse is there for the Reuniclus, because I know that Reuniclus is going to be so annoying. Uh, I've also got Malamar there, which will do somewhat damage to. Um, I don't know if I'd prefer to use Dark Pulse or Scold at that point. But yeah, we've got kind of some coverage here. Uh, max HP, max defense, uh, with a bold nature, so more defense and less attack. And then four EVs for special attack. So this thing is going to be trying to soak up some hits and getting some Rocky Helmet damage there. I've got Torrent there for the Scold if I get low on health and I'm able to actually get some more hits off. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get a couple of burns off. Hopefully I can do some damage. Um, hopefully the Rocky Helmet works well. Because uh, I believe it takes a sixth of your health every turn that you hit it, every time you hit it. So, yeah, that's that's kind of handy. Um, Mega Man Wild could have knockoff. Could have knockoff, which is the one concern. Um, so I don't really want to bring Porygon 2 in against it, because obviously Porygon 2 is holding the Eviolite. And I've got Download this week. Um, rather than Trace, I thought Trace doesn't really necessarily work this week. I could have got Proceam, I suppose, but that would be very kind of situational. I don't really know. Uh, we've got Recover, Shadow Ball, Toxic, and Ice Beam. So Recover is obviously got a health back. Toxic is for that general just chip damage. Uh, some annoying things like the Reuniclus. Uh, the Greninja I can get on there. Uh, the Alone Line Tails I think I should be able to take out. But like the Gligar as well. Because that ha well, actually it might have immunity, but I don't know um, whether it will. And then we have Shadow Ball to hit that Reuniclus. Because I'm not taking any chances with that. Because it's just got so many kills this season. Uh, I've also got from Malamar as well, Shadow Ball works. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball hits most things on the team quite nicely. It also hits Mega Malwile, which can be quite nice. Um, Toxic, as I've already said, and then Ice Beam is to hit that Rotom Fan and that Greninja if it starts setting up spikes, not Stealth Rock, spikes. So yeah, that's kind of uh, my thought there, and we're running especially defensive this week. Um, Again, for the Reuniclus as well, I think we can live a few of those attacks, assuming that it doesn't get, like, plus six on this Calm Mind. Uh, we have max HP and a max special defense on this thing with a Calm Nature, so more special defense and less attack. <clears throat> and, yeah, that's kind of my, my thought here. We're running less speed this week, as I've said. We're running more kind of, like, defensively, I suppose, more like HP investment. Um, we're not going to be one hit KOing much, except for like Scizor and Como, I don't think. Um, Donphan might be able to get a couple, but a lot of this is going to be more like getting chip damage and then probably coming in a late game with Scizor or Como, oh, hopefully. Um, very, very stressed out about this battle because I haven't had time to prep. And I also, um, uh, Playmaker has not lost the game yet. And you can see by the team just by how terrifying that actually is. So... Yeah, I hope that this is going to be okay. Uh, my lead, my lead is... Well, if the Alone Nine Tails is coming, it's definitely Sizzle. If anything else, if it doesn't come, I think I lead Domfan and try and get my rocks up. Because I don't think he has a Rapid Spinner. Unless Reuniclus learns Rapid Spin. Um, him on Lee, I'm not sure if it learns ra Rapid Spin. I think it's only him on top that learns Rapid Spin. Uh, off the top of my head. That's off the top of my head. I can't think, like... I, I really haven't put enough prep into this team, so I'm going to be honest there. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, this isn't the most perfect team, uh, but I think we've got a couple of a couple of secret techs to be able to help us this week. Anyways, I'm out of here, so I've had a good one, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>